we are. Okay. <sighs> Aye, but almost mad ain't fully mad. Ah, old Durance. The goddess shan't forge another like him in our lives, Captain. Can we go back on the ship now? Vela rocks back on her on the heels of her feet, watching you both. Vela, don't let Engrim be a bad influence while I'm gone. That's unkind. You're the one decided to pluck this wean from the wilds of Air Glanforth. Blame that stone steward of yours for bringing the furry maid along. Uncle Engram, you promised me ale. Later, sweetie. Uncle Engram's thirsty too. He absentmindedly taps on his chest, near his heart, sounding the thunk of something metal beneath the priest's jacket. <gasps> Level up. Nice. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, what do I want him to be good at? Um, hmm. <clears throat> Wasn't uh, there religion? All right. Um. get how the bonuses work, but yeah. Um hmm. Let's get you some more religion, dude. Yeah. And for active skills we're getting you some more athletics. Yep. And for here let's see here. What is this? This is uh, kind of wayfarers. And we can give him Deep faith, the paladin's defenses are directly affected by the degree to which he or she acts in accordance with the beliefs of the order. Uh, okay. <coughs> Fast runner. Uh, and here we have suffering damage, gain a stacking bonus to damage, gain an additional weapon set. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with defense. I want him to be my tank. Uh, I think I already. Oh, I don't have that one. Sworn enemy marks an enemy as a focus of the paladin's righteous fury. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, sorry about that hiccup, by the way. Um, seems my connection is doing the thing again. Yay. Uh, there. I leveled up. You dare? And now I should level up myself. Uh, some more mechanics and um, it's interesting some of my skills are actually bonused but some of them are not and I don't really get why because I have the Bereth blessing that doubles the bonuses on some of my skills but I'm trying to figure out what they are. I think it's the ones I get from my class that get doubled. And that's why I have four in sleight of hand currently. Uh. Hmm. Um. Some more metafixes. Sounds good. There we go. <coughs> and here we have. Spells. I do want more spells because I feel a bit naked. Uh, increases penetration of cipher spells. Uh, bonus to will. Duration of afflictions. Oh, that is good though. Monastic unarmed training. Um, hmm. So either a spell uh, or. 
doing some damage. Emotional damage. And I shall... Hmm. <coughs> what is that? That's uh, electricity and echo. Deception and deception. Shaken and confused. What do they do? Um, minus five intellect. And this is minus five resolve. Okay. Target range 10. So this is for just one. I think this might be this is for target plus radius. So it might be him and people and nearby enemies. So I think I'm gonna go for that one or so shark. Hmm. <coughs> I think I strike, yeah. Uh Right. Um Hmm. <coughs> Next. Sweet. And now if it was gathered by the I'll fire. boil up some water. We'll have a spy at that leg of yours. Should have seen me with that barrel, Engrim. I showed it who's boss. Hmm. <laughs> Magrin gives some of us simpler trials than others. <clears throat> I suppose we are lucky to have found land. What a mess. We'll be needing help getting the Defiant off the ground. Do you know anything? We got about turned around in that storm. Hard to be sure just where we are. What do we do Not now? Not much chance of us moving the ship on our own, <clears throat> but we're in charted waters. There's bound to be a town nearby. Good news, Captain. I found some supplies must have washed ashore. Even better. <laughs> I've located some spirits. The mundane kind, I mean. Nothing that requires your talents, Watcher. His eyes twitch and twinkle in the light. Uh, do you know anything about this island? Kethnev here. I can that much. Means we're a sight better off than we could be. Of course, it's surely pirate territory. They have a number of bolt holes out this way. I'd nay be surprised if that cave up north is one of them. Could be they lie in wait for us even as we speak. The twink a twinkle in his eyes belies his foreboding tone. What do you think we should do now? It's just the lot of us now, Captain. You'd best head into town, see about supplies and repairs. I'll keep an eye on the ship. Okay, bye. Even their shoes, yeah. The Defiant has run aground after suffering an attack by pirates, bringing temporary halt to the hunt for Elithas. Seek out a means of repairing your ship. I found a trail leading up from the beach. There must be some kind of settlement nearby. <coughs> Especially their shoes, you mean. Hmm. Sorry. I wonder why the loading times are so long here. The Forgotten Sanctum has been installed. That's one of the DLCs. That's also one of the DLCs. So, this is what we currently can see of the world map. It looks pretty nice, doesn't it? <coughs> I think we should go here to pick up some stuff. These tend to be in supplies. 20 ale. Okay. You know it's fork. Yeah. What do we have here? 
<clears throat> Approach. Uh, in the distance, you see a simple wagon. The angle at which it rests on the road, one side jutting above the other, suggests that it has been damaged or disabled. Even from your vantage, you can make out Kith milling about it. Kith being just people. Approach openly. As you near the cart, you make out a group of Reds. Rides certain pilgrims in rough spun linens and cottons. A simple draft horse stamps at the ground impatiently as two of the pilgrims argue over the front right wheel, which seems hopefully hopelessly stuck in the mud. One of the pilgrims notices you. Her step back draws the attention of the others, and a man in well worn gambeson steps forward. The weight of deep concern hangs on his face. Did the dreams bring you here as well? The other pilgrims look to you with a mix of apprehension and hopes. Uh, uh, I'm following you with this. The older pilgrim's mouth opens in amazement. You hear a gasp from another. They look to each other, excitement in their eyes. Praise him! The old man cries out. We are not alone! We had the dreams too! We saw the three stars sailing through the sky, piercing the black of a storm cloud. Figured it must be him, Aethas, calling to us. So we came here to the place we saw in our dreams. The pilgrims look around, mashing their sleeping memory to the present. Oh, we saw the giant pass with three stars on his brow, but... He sighs and gestures to the wagon stuck in the mud. Sad to say we could not follow him. Wheel stuck as stuck gets. None of us are strong enough to lift that corner up to get something under it. More than one of us tries, and we just get in each other's ways. The other pilgrims nod and stretch, suddenly remember <laughs> their aching bodies. Oh, I could... I could threaten them, but I don't feel like it. I'm just... Let me take a look. A brief inspection reveals that the wagon is undamaged, but the wheel is stuck fast in the mud. We have some wood, the old man says as he gestures to the back of the wagon. If we can get the wheel up, we can slide that neath it. Inside the wagon you see several planks of wood. A small box of valuables sits to the side. One of the younger dawn stars look at you, eyes wide. Reckon you can lift it? <coughs> I'm gonna... Attempt to lift the corner of the wagon. I'm gonna do it myself. You square yourself to the wagon's corner, squat deep, and wrest the wheel from the mud with a grunt. A young dawn star stands in shock for a moment, but racks in time to thrust a thick board beneath the wheel. It takes the better part of an hour to lay down a safe path for the wagon to roll free of the mud. You and the dawn stars uh, you've roped into your work glisten with sweat, but they laugh happily, singing songs of praise for Eothus. Results two hours past. Smiling, their leader presses a small pouch of coins into your hand. We appreciate the help. Without you, who knows how long we would have been stranded out here. They began to prepare the wagons as you take your leave. You've gained an item. Monies! The item was put into your stash. The old man calls out to you as you go. Take care of yourself and your soul, traveler. Whether you came for Eothas or not, we know in our hearts that he has come for us. Yes, he has. And... Ta-da! Oh, some birds flying. No, it's night time. Um, over here we have a crossing. Up here we have some supplies. And there we have Port Maja that we are going to go to very soon. Actually, maybe we should go there. <clears throat> but that's a whole different story, and we're gonna do that tomorrow. Because I am tired, and I wanna go to bed. Soon-ish, at least. At least, maybe we can watch an episode of Severance before I go to bed. Yes. Well, I am happy you guys were here with me, at least. And, uh... Let's see if I can get this to work. There. Oh, ah, there I am. Yes. Wait, I need to move you uh, uh here. Or something. Oh. 
God damn it, everything is awesome. There we go. Yup. <sighs> well, thank you for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, we'll see each other tomorrow, maybe. Otherwise, there will be the VOD for perusal the day after. And, uh, yeah, I hope we're all going to sleep tight tonight and that everything's gonna be fine. And, yeah, and all of that. <laughs> um, yes. I love you guys quite a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now I need to go back here to this screen. Ah, uh, yeah. I had a good time, and I hope this time I'm actually going to get somewhere in this stupid game. Ah. Uh. <laughs> love you guys. Get well soon. <laughs> and be well, my dears. Stretches. Have a good time. Okay, good night. Bye.